Not too long ago, we did a video on doing a quick install of two 180 watt Bouge RV solar panels on top of this trailer. What we didn't get done at that time was this third panel, which was an original panel already on the trailer. And it's not uh, a good match for the one 180 watt Bouge RV panels. So uh, they went ahead and bought another 180 watt RV or Bouge RV panel. And we're gonna be replacing this tilt up panel with that one. But we wanted to show you how we installed this tilt up because of the, you got the framing on the roof of the trailer and you try to get that matched up to the length of the padded panel and it's, it's not gonna match exactly. So we wanna show you what we did to install this panel and the one that we're um, replacing this panel with. We'll show you that right now. go. <laughs> Got it? Yeah. All right, you're clear. Of course, the other thing we need to do is neaten up all this wiring when we're done. We were waiting to do the second panel or the third panel before we did this. Something to mark with. There's a pen. Okay. All right. Over here. <laughs> and we're just doing this exactly like it was on the other panel. Okay, the one thing you want to make sure you do if you're doing this is to make is to have a piece of wood underneath so you don't go through and hit the panel. Okay, girl time to do the fine work. Oh, I'll go up and mount that piece that you took off. Yeah, I'll go mount it up on top. I didn't take that one off. Okay, yeah, take that one off and I'll just two bolts and yeah. I'll get up there and mount that on and then we'll mark that one exactly. I think a quarter inch bolt would go through a quarter inch hole, wouldn't you? You think so. There we go. All right, you go ahead and put them down, and we'll try to get this panel up in place. Okay. You all right? Yep. Well, let me get my bolt out here. No, we're not. Now, can you reach that back corner? Okay, can you tighten yours down now? Yeah. Exactly. Okay, I got the panel. Hold his ladder, please. Make sure it's steady. Yeah, I think he's got it. I have my foot on it. I can put both. Okay, that's good. That's good? Yep. Oh, perfect. Wow. 
No way. <laughs> okay, so the purpose of the video is just to show you that we installed that aluminum angle about eight inches in from the end of the solar panel to give us some place to mount the, um, the tilting bracket because that bracket bolts down through a frame in the roof. And uh, rather than ending up between two frames, we thought it best to do it this way. You'll notice that on this end, the angle aluminum attaches right to the solar panel and down to the roof of the trailer. And that one on the roof goes right into the, and through, the bolts go right through the uh, framework on, on the trailer's roof. But on this side, the roof frame didn't line up with the end of the panel. So what we did was we installed this aluminum angle to the bottom of the solar panel itself. And then we attach the uh, tilt panel hardware to that. Well, that's how we did this one. And there's uh, something more I want to show you on my own trailer before, the, uh, before we finish this video. Now, Bouge RV is doing a Black Friday sale. This is for November of 2021. And if you, from November 8th until November 21st, if you make a $5 deposit, you'll get $40 off on your order. And, if, and you can pay the balance anywhere from November 22nd to December 6th. That's for their Black Friday sale. Uh, invite some friends and uh, give them, they'll get 14% off and you'll get 17% off. Also, 14% um, off site-wide from November 19th to December 6th. So if you are in the market for solar panels, this, this is a way to get them at a discount. And I'll put all that information below this video in the video description. Well, this is my own solar panels and you can tell that I haven't, uh, I've been down some dusty roads and I haven't cleaned them off. So I gotta get busy. Hey, but what I wanted to show you is, this is a 200 watt panel and they're long. So look what I had to do here on the, on the uh, lengthwise. I had to install this aluminum angle because the panels were flexing too much and here's why. My frames ended up exactly on the very end of each panel. So I had this long unsupported length here and when I'd go down a bumpy road these panels were flexing and I figured they were going to break. So I installed this aluminum angle on both sides to stiffen up the panel so it wouldn't do that. So that's something that on the other installation we just showed you, number one, those 180 watt panels were shorter than this. And number two, they were supported before they got to the, to the end down here and it made it so the panel wasn't as flexible. So that's gonna work out on the, on the other trailer. This is what I ended up doing to mine and you might keep that in mind. Now my other panel is on adhesive mounts. So it's just fastened down to the roof of the trailer. This one is my one tiltable panel. Hey, well, if you guys like the video, you'd know what to do. Like, share, and subscribe. That really helps. When you hit that thumbs up button, YouTube, YouTube's algorithm picks up on that and recommends the, the uh, video to other people. I'd sure appreciate it if you'd do that and be sure and subscribe. See you around. Thank <laughs> you.